guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Katie with the Homespun Hydrangea. We're doing another thrift store haul today, and this one's a little bit different because this is actually a bunch of items that I found while on a road trip to Arkansas. So it's always great to get out and go on road trips and stop at thrift stores along the way because you can usually find things that you can't find at home. It just kind of gives you a different perspective. Um, as far as buying items goes. So um, what I did was I hit up a few different shops. I've got a bunch of things to show you guys. So as usual, I'll take you through the aisles. You guys can kind of see what I saw, see if anything catches your eye. And then we'll all come back here. I'll show you what I found. I will tell you what I paid for it. And I will tell you what I'm gonna do with it. So go take a peek and we'll meet back here. was great. The thing that I loved about it um, was that we found a lot of different mission thrift stores which were great because those tend to be a lot less expensive than your traditional Goodwills or kind of your big chain thrift stores. So I will go ahead and dig right in. You guys can see what I found. The first thing I found is going into my keep pile and these are two um, little jars that would go into your bathroom. They kind of have the really clean uh, farmhouse look to them. They're made to look like old stoneware. There's lotion and soap. These were two dollars each. These aren't old, just made to look old. They're made in China. I bought these. They had some greenery sticking out of them um, that I took out. So I think I'm just going to leave these as they are and put them into my bathroom. I hate buying home decor new because it tends to be so expensive. So for just two dollars a piece, I can use these in the bathroom until I get sick of them and uh, I think they'll do just great. So I was happy to find those. The next thing that I found, the same thrift store had a bin of $1 textiles, and so I got this really great scarf. First of all, I love the pattern because I really love the plaid for Christmas. It's got the little fringy edges. These, this was just a buck. So a couple ways I can use this. I can either use it as a table runner, I can definitely use it as a background for my photos for the blog, um, but I can also use it for crafting. This can be cut into like cup cozies, it can be cut into um, placemats, uh, coasters, all different kinds of things. So for just a dollar, I really liked it. I always look at scarves when I go thrifting because I have found Burberry scarves, um, which as you can imagine have a really great resale value. And I've also found cashmere and um, some pretty high-end scarves. So I always look. This one of course isn't high-end, but the pattern's fantastic. And for just a dollar, I thought it would be perfect. We also stopped at um, another thrift store that I always, uh, it caught my eye because I'm always looking for a um, silver, especially if I can find sterling because it has a fantastic resale value. But I also buy silver plate and I use it a lot. I really like that kind of rustic glam look. Um, so this piece is super cool. I don't know if any of you guys know what this is. Some of you might. My husband thought it was a golf trophy. It is not. This is actually a vintage silver plate champagne bucket. 
And so it was funny because I was watching old Downton Abbey episodes the other night and there was one of these buckets on the table. So I had to call everybody to the room and force them to look. But um, it's really cool. So these, this was a steal. I only paid $5 for this. And I mean, it could be used as a champagne bucket, obviously. I can make people think that I'm really fancy. Um, but I've already been using it to put um, pumpkins and fall stuff in. And then at Christmas, I'll probably put pine branches and things like that in it. So, you know, it's just kind of fancy. It's got that whole rustic glam going on. So I really liked it. I cannot find these usually for under $50. If you go into antique shops or auctions or eBay, these are in the $50 to $75 range um, for just the silver plate because they've really got that, that rustic glam look that so many people like. Um, so for five bucks, I thought that was a fantastic find. And so I added that to the pile. That will be in my keep pile. I'm not gonna be parting with that anytime soon. Uh, the next shop that we stopped at, it was nice because it had a lot of multiple vendors at it, which I love because then you've got a lot of stuff to look through. You've got all kinds of different prices and the inventory is always changing. So this little lady, she's a little fairy. And if you turn her around, you can see she's got the little wings on the back. She's signed at the bottom, but she would have been like a little powder jar back when, um, women used to set up kind of like little um, dressing tables for themselves. Makeup and powder and a powder puff or hair pins would have gone into this. And I grabbed her because right now I'm noticing on eBay any type of mythological characters, so your mermaids, your fairies, your gnomes, um, they're all selling really, really well. There's a whole bunch of people that love collecting them. So I thought this little fairy on a lotus would be a great resale item. I paid $2 for this. She's absolutely precious. No chips or cracks. So she'll be going into my cell pile. The next thing I found, I stopped at an antique shop that was going out of business in Arkansas. And I know that when I go to an antique shop, I'm going to be paying a little bit more and that's expected, but you can still typically find some good deals. So this shop was great because there were a bunch of textiles at it and I'm totally a sucker for vintage fabrics. One of the things I found for $2 is this gorgeous 1950s tablecloth and it has what looks like um, dogwood or you know what, these are probably actually, I can't think of the name now. Anyhow, it's floral. <laughs> Help you guys might have to help me out. I can't think of what the name is of this flower But it's that great kind of jade ID color, which I love the jade ID green now This would be considered a cutter because it does have some holes on the one side um, But even the cutter tablecloths have a great resale value on eBay uh, Because people use them for crafting they make these really beautiful cottagey kind of shabby pillows and dish towels and things like that um, so I'm not sure about this one yet. This was two bucks and so it will be, uh, it'll be going into the maybe pile. I'm not sure if I will make something with it or if I will be reselling it for $2. I think I could make a few bucks. So that is going to be going into the maybe. So I'm going to set that right there. Another thing I found, I'm going to just throw up a Hail Mary on this and hope I can get it clean. This vintage dish towel, it has dancing radishes on it. I mean, when have you ever seen radishes dancing a duet? They are just gorgeous. And it's on one of these vintage kind of French farmhouse um, ticked towels, which are collectible within themselves. But it does have stains, no holes, but it does have stains on it. So I'm hoping I can give it a good OxyClean soak and that I can, might be able to get some of these out. But for two bucks, I was willing to take a chance Assuming I can get it clean, this will go into my uh, cell pile because I think it's unusual and the vintage fabrics do really well for me um, on eBay. So I will definitely be giving that one a try. I also just picked up another fabric remnant. She had just a dollar on this one and it's just a nice piece of plaid fabric. Again, um, I'm not sure of the age, it's older, but it's got that great kind of farmhouse checked look. I can use it to make pillow covers. I can use it to make a runner. 
Um, I always buy fabric remnants if I like the pattern because for a dollar, I mean, this piece probably would have at least been five, six bucks a yard had I bought it from a craft store. So if I find nice unused cut pieces like this for cheap, I grab them and I add them to my crafting pile. So that for now is going into the um, keep. So another thing that she had um, for people who do crafting, she had a whole bunch of these, which I know it just looks like a heap of what the heck, um, but she had a whole bunch of these um, tassels and these are just gorgeous. People use these for all kinds of things. They use them around pillows, they use them um, on napkins, they use them on, um, oh, what am I trying to think of, frames. I've also seen where people put them around lampshades, but they can just be used to embellish all kinds of things. And there's actually a community of people out there that are looking for little sewing odds and ends like this because they use these scraps for all kinds of things, especially stuff with tassels. I don't know if you guys have seen a lot of like the, um, the beaded garlands that people are making now for that kind of farmhouse look. They're adding tassels onto the end of them and it looks just gorgeous. So I think like even this one, it's just kind of glam, I love it. Would be perfect for that. And then this one was along with it. I got all of this whole pile for a couple of bucks. Um, but the little pink pom-poms, I thought they were kind of kitschy and they would be fun to do all kinds of decorating with, even if I just turn them into like a little, um, you know, bunting banner or something uh, for Valentine's Day. But they're hard to find, and if you go to the craft store, you're gonna pay several dollars easy for, you know, maybe a foot or so of them. So to get all of these for just a few bucks, I was really happy with those. So those will go into my keep for now pile. Another thing that they had, you guys are gonna wonder what's gotten into me. Um, but this is, this is really cool. This is a little, um, probably hand-dyed cluster of grapes, and these are velvet. And what this would have been made for is to go onto women's hats. So if you were making, you know, a hat um, for Easter or spring or something like that, this would have been a piece that would have been used on something like that. And so it's definitely an oldie. I'm so glad nobody attached it to a hat yet. Um, but there is actually a market for stuff like this um, for people who still create, you know, vintage style hats and headpieces and things like that, especially on Etsy. There's a lot of people making gorgeous derby hats and things like that. And so this would even be really gorgeous on a derby hat this spring. Um, this was a couple bucks also. So this will go into this, uh, the sale pile because I do think I'd be able to resell this and somebody could easily create something really beautiful. At another little thrift store that I um, stopped at, they had a bunch of sewing notions, and so that would be all different kinds of pin cushions and tape measures and things like that. And for 50 cents, I got this cute tape measure. It's that fun jadeite green that I absolutely love. Um, so for 50 cents, I thought that was a great deal. I'm gonna probably use this in decorating or upcycle it some way. I'm not exactly sure what yet that I'm gonna do with it. I need to look up ideas. But for 50 cents, I love the color. I love kind of the industrial numbers. And I feel like um, it definitely has potential. Um, this is so much cuter than the little tape measures they make nowadays. These ones just have so much more character to them. Um, so 50 cents, that's gonna go into my keep pile. So when we were touring around Arkansas, there's a lot of um, soaperies that make all different kinds of handmade bath products. And I noticed when we were at those places, a lot of them were selling these really cute little farmhouse natural wood scoops along with their products. And in most of the places that we stopped at, I remember thinking how cute they are, um, but most of them were in about the $8 range for a little wooden handled scoop like this. I found this one for 50 cents. And so what I'm going to use this for is I'll be doing some bath product DIYs on the blog. I have a couple up there now. I will link below in the uh, description. Um, but if I do more, I'll definitely be using this as a photo prop. When I'm done, we display all of our bath products in jars up in the bathroom. Um, so something like this would be perfect just to stick right in. And it looks really cute. It's decorative and it's also functional. So for 50 cents, 
I thought that was a fantastic deal. Last thing I got, I'm a sucker for old kids books and this one absolutely Talk to me. This one's called The Tallest Tree by George Overly. One of the things I love about old children's books is they've got that fun smell to them. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's mildew. I'm not sure. But um, this one had just the most beautiful little message in it, and it kind of gave me goosebumps at the end, so I grabbed it. Um, but I also just love the illustrations. You can see the man in his hat and the woman in her dress because they've always got, you know, the vintage clothing on. And the end is just really precious. So it's it's a story about this little boy. It's, I think, 1965. And um, there's even a mention in the book that the font used in the book was all hand done by the author, which I thought was really cool because you just don't see that anymore. I think this cost me about 50 cents. Um, it's going to go into my keep pile. I'll add this to the bookshelf that I have all the books from when I was a kid. And I've also held on to some of the kids' favorite books. And okay, so that is my Arkansas thrift store haul. I think I spent around $25, which was really surprising because I was worried that I'd really go overboard. But I didn't. I just bought stuff that I knew would be great for resale and I knew would be functional for around the house. Also, I just was brainstorming. I think this is Magnolia's. So... The vintage tablecloth, I think those are magnolias. If I'm wrong, you guys correct me, but it just came to me, so I wanted to share. But anyhow, that's the haul. Also coming from Arkansas, I have another video coming to you guys, and it's going to be a tour of the Ron Coleman Crystal Mine. It's one of the activities I did while I was out there, and it is a fantastic, frugal way to spend the day where you can bring home tons of crystals and have fun with your family and not spend a ton of money. So there will be a video coming for that. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel so you get notifications when new videos go up. Thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed so far. I really, really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a fantastic week. I hope you're out finding all kinds of treasures. If so, tell me about them below and I will see you for my next video very soon. Have a great day. Thanks guys.